Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over how to change the appearance of your chart in the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim desktop platform. So what you see on the screen right now is the factory default chart setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look a little cleaner, um, what I think is a little cleaner, and get rid of some of this noise. So these red uh, date lines, uh, these grid marks, and even fill in these candles um, here that you see on the chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and click this gear icon. And I'm going to go to appearance. So just to fill the candles, you come over here and click fill up. You can do fill down. Um, you can change the, the volume bars down here at the bottom to reflect the colors of the candles above them. Right? Um, I don't, that's not really important to me. I'm just interested in, in making this chart look a little cleaner. So grid, that's the biggest thing for me is grid to get rid of these grid lines you see in the background. So under, so you click this gear icon, come over to appearance and uncheck grid apply and then the grid lines are gone okay cool so what about these uh, date indicators so let's see where those are labeled at or where they have those set up so you come to the time axis yes it's going to be time axis so rollover lines apply expiration Friday not interested so Expiration Friday seems to be the one for to get rid of those red line uh, date indicators. This probably has to do with options contracts and things of that nature. Not interested. There you go. And then this year marking line, gone. So right now I've got, I've been able to get rid of all that extra noise inside uh, the chart that just it just bugs me so that's how you get rid of it now you still have these uh, corporate actions down here so again come into the gear icon time ax uh, time axis um, don't want any of this extra stuff on here let's see we also have equities uh, you can take off corporate actions here and that removes uh, the calls, the dividends, the financials, the reportings, all that other stuff, um, as you can see. That's how you get rid of that. Um, so highlight extended hours trading session. So right now, this chart is on daily candles. So it's not really going to show a different uh, color scheme for the extended hours trading. So let's look and see what that looks like when you're on a smaller time frame. So here, it changes colors when it goes into after hours trading. Um, you may be okay with that. If not, and you want to change it, it's pretty simple. Go back into the gear icon and go to equities and just uncheck this highlight extended hours trading. Apply, and then now you have one solid color as your background. Now, I'll also mention that you can even change the background right here. You click on this, and it's this, you're currently set on this first option, but you can change it to blue. Um, you, can, you can pick anything in here, really. Um, so, you know, if, if that's what works for you, um, then have at it, you know. Um, so you can do something like... I don't know. Let's just be weird. What is this? Pink? Pinkish? Okay. And then you can do fill up, blue, fill down. I don't know. What is that? Greenish? Light green? So, you know, you can, you can change these things quite a bit. And then you can even change the borders to match the colors that you like. So whatever works for you, I'm just showing you it works for me and how to change all these things. So I'm going to set it back to default. 
I'm going to fill up. I'm going to remove the grid. I'm going to leave this background as it was, apply. Um, and then I'm going to come back over. So when I click this, it reset the chart back to default. So I need to go back over to equities, uh, remove the highlight extended hours, remove the corporate actions, come to the time axis, uh, remove these rollover lines. And then it's back to where I like it. So then we come into the smaller time frame. See, there's no no highlighted after hours. Um, you don't have a whole bunch of grid lines, stuff like that. And it's just what I feel to be a, a cleaner look that's easier to digest and easier on your eyes. Um, I also don't like this volume sub bar. So again, gear icon, equities, show volume sub graph. Apply, it's gone. Now, if you do like it, but you just don't like it separate, right? You can come over to um, general under layout, click overlap volume, and it'll move it up underneath uh, the candles on your chart to be on the same chart. Now, I don't like this because it overlaps the candles sometime, um, but you know, to each their own, this is how you can change it. So take that off um, and then go to equities and then remove. Now, you'll notice that it has uh, different tabs for equities, options, futures, Forex. So if I go to, let's say, uh, the micro e-mini S&P or just the mini S&P, doesn't have to be the micro, any of them. It, it's, it's a futures uh, chart, right? So we'll go there. Now you'll see the sub bars here. And we're still on the five minutes, so you're not going to see any rollover lines or anything like that. But if you come out to the daily, you'll see these lines again. So when you go into futures or even if you're pulling up the chart of an options contract, you'll have to come in here uh, and make the changes accordingly. Um, show contract change events, get rid of that. And that should get us, you know, back to what we like to see. Um, cause I like to, I like to draw my own lines in here. You know, I just, I don't like the grid lines. I don't like having all that extra noise in there. All I want to see is the candles and whatever I add to the chart. So this is how you set it up like that. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or you may do a video on anything specific, just feel free to uh, drop a comment down there. Let me know and I'll get to it as soon as I can. All right. Thanks for watching.